Pick the Nintendo Shack and pray. Frederick from Fire Emblem Awakening says, yo. To this week's episode of the Nintendo Shack Podcast, introducing Kong Dong. <laughs> I promise that has context to Nintendo news. No, it doesn't. Just leave it out there. <laughs> In some Not way, shape, bit. and form. <laughs> no. <laughs> hi, Donnie. Hi, Delvin. How are you guys today? Better now. <laughs> I'm no better than I was in seventh grade. <laughs> we should, we should introduce every episode like that. Introducing Kong Dong. Introducing Kong Dong. Kong Dong. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm very good. Sorry for being a little late this morning. Um, I'm I'm smoking. Uh, um, doing pulled pork. We for dinner. So I had to get that in the oh. oven and everything. I love gotta, pulled pork. It's got to cook for like five or six hours. So oh, it's so good. It's my first time. That's pretty good. Doing like the whole, I've got like a whole damn, you know, shoulder and all that. Yeah. So I get it. You like it to have that smoky taste instead mm-hmm. of like in a slow cooker? Yeah, of course. hundred percent. Yeah. It's pretty good. Pulled pork's really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm having a, a good week and I had a great day yesterday. So yeah. what did you do yesterday? Uh, me and the wife just spent the day together. Um, we went out for tacos and drinks for lunch. And then we went to the movies and we saw a movie and the movie was excellent. What movie? And we saw A Quiet Place Day One. <gasps> oh my God. I heard the cat steals the show in that. A hundred percent. It's a cat movie. Yep. You'll be a big fan. It's great. And um, then we came home and we got in the hot tub and I popped a bottle of champagne. And, and what happened next? I mean, yeah. Oh, we, took a while, while. we watched the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleader documentary. Oh, he definitely know what happened next now. <laughs> It was just a good day. Good day, man. I say watched, you know, like we watched the documentary, you know. Very happy for you. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. <laughs> I'm in North Carolina. Yeah. I'm uh, visiting Carolina. Josh and all his friends. And uh, so that's why I have a different setup. I might sound a little different, better or worse. Who knows? Better. better? Oh, good. Good, yeah. good, good. Did you take your shirt off and wave it around your head on the helicopter? I'm going to go through this well, again. I see if she remembers it. Live. Phrasing. <laughs> oh, yeah. You said something about North Carolina last time, and I didn't remember what that was. Yeah. Let's see if she remembers Just, it this time. No. Let's see if she remembers this time. God fucking damn it. No. Rebecca. Uh, Josh! You should fix this. This is your <laughs> issue now, Josh. I'm He's not, not from anymore. North Carolina. You piece of shit. He's only lived here for like a year. The whiteness. (laughs) We're so white. (laughs) Really? I so badly I wanted Josh in her frame be like, what? What are you talking about? (laughs) He's watching it across the room on a delay. So he just heard it. God damn it. How dare you be in North Carolina? I don't know who Petey Pablo is. Sorry. That's right. Just disappointed. Just disappointed. I I don't have any idea what you're talking about. (laughs) Oh my god. This is so, so embarrassing. America is disappointed in both of you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who um, am I, Petey Bob? Yeah, we drove yeah. down like eight hours, nine hours, whatever it was. Long car ride. But I'm here for a couple weeks. Um, I'm playing more Ace Attorney. Oh, my God. I'm so addicted to this game. I am yeah, going to play every game in the series. I'm taking it is slow. It I'm going to play everything. Yes. Is it what? What? <laughs> I love it. I love I, Maya Faye. Oh my gosh, so amazing. I love Miles Edgeworth. It's amazing. That's awesome. I love figuring it out. He said the line last night I was playing really late. He was like, it's almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas. You know, that screenshot that they put people post every year on Christmas Eve. I got to that. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. Very good storytelling. It's like making me more interested in visual novels. And so like I went to Steam. There's a Steam summer sale going on right now. I already bought some games. Um, But 
I uh, was like trying to look for more visual novels, but everything else that pops up is like high school, teenage romance, anime type of thing, like with a really long title. And like, it's like, I don't, I don't want that. I want something that's like more serious, like not so high school. Let me tell you something, I, Becca, that you may not I have. have s- okay. Visual novels are fucking awful. <laughs> There's maybe like only one or two of them that's really good, but the bulk of them are terrible. But Ace Attorney like really is so bad. much fun. That's the so one. I, that's I the have one. one for you. It's kind of like that. It's not necessarily a visual novel, but it's in that vein. Okay. I was saving this until next week because I'm only a couple hours into the game so far. Um, but I had a friend of mine who told me that he was playing this game, and he said it was his favorite game ever. And I was like, oh. that's crazy. Um, but he was just raving about it. He's like, I absolutely love this game. You have to play it. And it's called A Thousand Times Resist. One, I've never heard of it. 1000X Resist. It's on Switch. And I've taken a bunch of screenshots and videos just from like the first two or three chapters that I was going to send to you when I like got closer to finishing it. But if you're looking for something and you're looking for your next thing, I would like to throw that names, that game in in the ring it's not like a high school like romance type of thing i was i <laughs> so i'm not prepared for this because actually one of the reasons why i wasn't going to talk about the show today is i wanted to like sit down and like gather my thoughts on how okay I well then let's the talk about it next week because i'm not yeah. gonna be done ace attorney and looking for something else okay, i have yeah, lots of other i gotta to figure out how to pitch it to you it's it's different it's okay. strange Okay, we'll talk about it next week. Okay. Um, it's on so Switch, you, by the way. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, you know how A Link to the Past GBA came to Nintendo Switch Online? Mm-hmm. Um, the With Four Swords. So I played Four Swords with a bunch of my friends, and we beat the game, and it was whatever. Um, but then <laughs> I went through... Um, a link to the past on GBA to get to the end because if you beat the game after beating it with uh, the four swords beaten, you get an, a bonus dungeon that is a link to the past bonus dungeon. I was not prepared for this at all. It was like pretty tough. It was like a bonus dungeon where you go do four different things. You beat the bosses and they have like harder attacks. Like I died a couple times. I had to use like rewind and stuff. And then at the end, the final boss of that is four shadow links that you fight and they get progressively harder and it was hard it was like a good challenge if you like a link to the past so this sounds awesome yeah and now you can actually do it if you have friends online if you have friends Nintendo Switch online. Yeah. but the point is that. i was never able to do that as a kid because you needed i'm out four yep, gbas same. and four nope. games and four you know link cable whatever um but it was Friend, really fun i'm glad that i did it I have friends, Delvin. I have three. Yeah. You have friends. I have, I have Dev and Delvin. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's <laughs> what how, about that's, me? That's how that works. There's just three of us. What about You're me? playing your Link friend. to the Past. You're playing Link to the Past with people I don't even. I've never. I don't even know. I'll play. <laughs> like, like, I'll yeah. play Four Swords with you. Okay. Well, I have three then, and then okay. Dev. Dev's never around, and Delvin's not playing multiplayer. So then again, <laughs> it's just us. We have so. a whole community of PSVGers who would probably love to play with you. Yeah, I'm I don't like them people. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I don't want to play multiplayer Zelda. We did have yeah. um, some very no. bad lag in the beginning, but then it got better. So Nintendo Switch that's Online good. is fine. Yeah, that's like their big. I mean, that is their. They've like. I think that's the thing that's selling this entire service. That should that be their, model. their games have multiplayer. Nintendo Switch Online is fine. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Fine. that's that's it's it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, but I had fun. Man, G Man just called you Devlin. Yeah. Who the fuck is Devlin? <laughs> oh, Rebecca, I did not send you this thing. What? Oh, you would have died laughing. So, you know, Dev is Dev is out of out of town. He's on vacation anniversary. And I, <laughs> I was checking my email the other day, and I get this email from LinkedIn telling me to connect with somebody. And the the person's name was Devontae Tyus. There was another dev. T- I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" I thought it, it was wasn't a- him. It wasn't him. No. I thought it was a joke. I thought he was playing a. J- I was like, "Is this some prank?" 
it was it was like the good version of Dev. He was like, we have Timu Dev. We have Dev at home. Is that his first name? I have no no, I don't think no. I think Dev's name is just Dev. His name is Devin just Kyle. Dev. Devin. Right? That's what I thought it was, Devin. Yeah. Yes. That's funny. <laughs> That's very funny. And like it had, a, it had a picture and everything. I gotta send you the screenshot. And I hate to just slander this person that I don't know on LinkedIn, yeah. just like wild here in public. But like I could not. How he's like this. This is impossible. <laughs> yeah, could you imagine was. if like some you know Donatello Reese or some shit showed up in your LinkedIn? Donatello and you'd be like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like damn. It's like us or some shit. <laughs> it's just like yeah. here's my copy. <laughs> That sounds like like it could be some kind of SNL skit. It was oh, it was, it was hilarious. I was dying laughing for that moment. I was dying laughing. That's good. That's very good. <laughs> um, besides the uh, hot tubbing it up, what have you been playing, Donnie? Um, well, okay. First thing that I want to talk about, um, more importantly, is I got a code from Bohemia Interactive to play Wildlands on the Switch. Jack and I have been playing it officially released last week. I didn't talk about it last week because of the direct. Um, so we're about, probably about five days behind, I think, embargo on this one. Um, but this was a survival craft game that I talked about, like when it was first announced. I got a trailer and everything. I brought it up here. I thought Jack would like it. So I reached out, asked for a code. They were able to give me one. Um, played it for about five or 10 hours. Um, Jack's played it for about five or 10 hours. I think we made some progress between the both of us. Um, it's good. I, I like the game. I think it's. I think it's pretty good. Um, it's interesting in like where it sits because for the longest time, I think if you're into like the survival craft thing, um, for a long time on switch, it was like just Minecraft, but now we have like grounded and we have Lego Fortnite and I mean, even not, not so much survival, but you have animal crossing and you've no man's sky and stranded deep and like green hell. And there's, there's a lot of, too these many of those games now. Yeah. There's a lot of them now. Um, Wildlands is at 25 bucks, which I think is fine, but like it's weird that, like, in, in the grand s- scheme of games, like Wildlands is free to play on PC. Oh, so if you have a Steam Deck, you can just play it for free. It's um, only free to play on PC, I think so. Yeah, you have to pay and, on console, and then you have to pay on console. Yeah, Ugh. so there's a little bit more uh, to this story, I guess. Um, this game, if you look it up, you'll find reviews all over the scale, and I started to dig into them. And I found out why I think, at least on PC, it had a pretty negative start. They launched this game as like a it's like a paid game with optional DLC, and a lot of people bought like the like you know like the bundle or whatever that came with all the DLC from to start with. And then like really quickly after launch, they made the game free to play and started selling DLC separately. So a lot of people that bought the game were pissed. Yeah. Yeah. I would hope that those people would at least get like the DLC for free or something. Yeah. I, um, yeah, they were mad. So there's a lot of like angry reviews about it there, but the game itself, it's, it's got like this very like low poly kind of, um, you know, like I'm trying to think of the word, just like a, a very basic look. Um, it actually works well on switch. Like I think performance is good because of it. It's a really big game. So you start on like this, you know, beginner, island where you learn like all the basics and everything and then it's 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 like it's like um it's like minecraft but then like but sea of thieves more like grounded it's like grounded but then sea of thieves if you match like yeah. both those two things together you'll kind of get this thing because a big part of it is like sailing you make bigger and better boats and you go and sail the world and you you, you find new islands to explore um and you know like and they're big and you'll run into like pirates and you'll run in you can dive under the ocean and go search for treasure and stuff like that so like there's like a a big grand adventure here it crashed a lot on us which is something that like you don't expect with a switch game i can count like on one hand the amount of times a game has crashed Mm -hmm. uh it crashed like three or four times for us now that's when we first got started i think so i think the day one patch hopefully i think got rid of that we haven't really run into it uh lately i don't think um but yeah if if you're into that sort of thing if you if you're looking for like a valheim um or like a grounded or uh, a moria you know this game is an option for you on nintendo switch um i think it i think performance well applies it runs pretty good um and and i mostly enjoyed it um i think the price is okay 
I mean, I, I don't think it's a great price, but I think it's an okay price. I think like fourteen ninety nine probably make a lot more sense, or especially get it considering on PC for free. Or, exactly, or like play on PC for free, especially though when you can think of like more premium options. Like you've got on the scale, you've got Minecraft, which I think is still like thirty dollars. You've got Grounded at forty, and then you have Lego Fortnite, which is free. Yeah, you know, so it's 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 i don't know it's kind of a i don't want to tell people like your game is is not not worth it i'm sure it is they, you know these people made this game but like in the marketplace it's in a weird position it's kind not, of like yeah, where it's where not it is. really competitively priced yeah, or valued not, I yeah I don't, I don't think it's the production isn't high enough at the price that it's set yeah. right compared to the to the market so um it's fun if you're looking for like a big adventure game it doesn't really have a story i do th and, and like this isn't this game's problem it's like all of these games problem more or less I don't think it's like very approachable if you're looking for like to get into something like this. It's super menu heavy, right? You got to gather all the resources to craft all the recipes, to unlock the technology, to craft more recipes. So you're, you're constantly dipping in and out of menus and, you know, expanding menus and collapsing menus. And, and I just, yeah, don't know that's how. a lot. Yeah. I don't think it's like something you like just from a game give to your kids or something, you know, like it's not something that, uh, that anybody can play. You got to kind of, kind of want to play it yeah um but i do like these sorts of games and and we did have fun um i think jack is still playing and i'm i don't think i'm going to keep playing it but um jack definitely will and uh i enjoyed i enjoyed my time with it outside of that um if you didn't listen to psvg i'm just playing like an absolute shit ton of doom games um like all kinds of doom and duke nukem mostly on switch um, i've beat uh doom i beat sigil i beat doom 2 um i'm working on doom 64 i'm on i think level of like 14 or 15 i think last night so i'm, I'm well on my way there um doom is like doing... your comfort game yeah yeah and uh, like i just came off of like half-life we did like a whole show about it on psvg or back around i watched like this documentary kind of set me down this road nice. um that game i was talking about that thousand times resist this is going to be like my palate cleanser i picked it up on my on my friend's recommendation i started it I do think it's something I did. I think it's your shit. Like the entire time I keep playing, I keep thinking about you. I've like saved screenshots. I'm like, I'm going to send this to Rebecca and see if I can get her to play it. Okay. Um, I'm really digging it. It's, it's, it's mysterious. It's sci-fi and mysterious. What and is like it? Ox, an oxen free kind of way. What's it called? A thousand times resist. Oh, 1000 oh, yeah, X yeah, resist. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. one, that one. Yeah. 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 yeah oh, we'll talk about it. does not portable game. I've been playing in handheld. I'm like, this is great. Last night I put it on the dock for the first time. I was like, this is not great. Oh, not good here. Don't do that. <laughs> Portable game. I've Play been playing handheld. handheld like 90% to 10%. Same. Yeah. Same. Yeah. I barely even use my dock anymore. So yeah. that's the thing. I, I played it last night. I was like, I'm just going to sit in the chair. And I was like, nope, I'm not. I literally just went and picked it back up off the dock. Yeah. But um, yeah, we'll talk about more. Next okay. Week. That's me. That's it. What about you, Delvin? I don't play no games no more. I've retired from gaming. No! I, I'm doing like adult stuff. I was going to paint my deck today, and I mm. guess Big Baby Jesus was like, nah, fuck that, son. We're going to like have like hurricane winds and rain. It's like pouring down outside. So I guess that that goddamn deck ain't getting painted, painted today. Has it been very hot down there? Yes, it's been hot and rainy. Ugh. So and we today, just today, started getting some rain like yesterday. It's been smotheringly hot here. Yes. Yeah. 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 Eventually, Earth. I'll pick up some games again. I've been buying. I'm buying a lot of stuff. I'm doing part one of the games. I'm buying the games. Just not playing the games. Oh, my hey, God. Same. Buying the games of fun itself. Seriously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Donnie, I bought Cassette Beasts on the Steam yeah. Summer sale. It was pretty cheap. And so I posted about it, and Garrett was like, this game was shit. I that's Garrett. I mean, that's it. scary. I, don't, I, I think Garrett, Garrett would like your it. I think Garrett only posts to ruin other people's like like he only shows <laughs> yeah. up when he wants to shit on. But a, you recommended it, right? I could. I, I, I like. I knew I like one of you piece. two recommended it, and yeah. so I guess it was you. I didn't beat it. But I played on Game Pass. I was like, "This is cool." But you recommended it to me specifically. You said Rebecca because it like reminded me you were talking about you were playing that Pokemon ROM Infinite hack where you Fusion. could like mix. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, that, "That's that cassette beast thing." Yeah. Right? I wonder yeah, if they yeah, picked yeah. it up from that ROM or vice versa or just I coincidence, but. Yeah. yeah, I'm That's excited all I was to play about. that. Yeah, Garrett, and so then I bought um, not on my watch. I, I bought, did the same thing with Donkey Kong. Like, like three days after Donkey Kong was released, people started whining about the price. 
he shows up and he's like, can't believe I'm not buying that. <laughs> it's like, welcome back to Chef Karen. Like, like, of all things to show up and say. <laughs> Um, the other thing I bought was uh, Disco Elysium. Have either of mm. you played that? It was like I $2. Do not I like did not that like game. it. You don't yeah. really? People And this is like it. this is like indie game journalist game of the year. Everybody yeah. fucking loved this game. They wouldn't stop I shoving know. it down people's throat. And I was like, I'm so excited. I can't wait to play it. And then I played it and I was like, I never want to yeah. play this game ever again. Well, I'll give it a chance. I mean, it was only $2. So like, it's sure. like if it sucks, you may like it. You like may like, like it. I, I, it's just when you play it, I think it'll become abundantly clear why I did not like it. It's just okay. not for me. Yeah. Okay, I don't know yeah. anything about it, so I. If if Doom is your comfort food, Disco Elysium's on the other side of the spectrum. Yeah. Okay, well maybe I'll like it then. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. No, no, I do not um, like it at all. Anything else before we jump into the news? No. No. All right. Tell, tell us about the lack of the Zelda Switch Lite, Donnie. We still have no Switch Lite pre-orders. Everybody in the world can buy one of these but us. Canada can. It's been in the UK for weeks. Like, what's going on? Nintendo recently announced the the, the games that they announced in the Direct have gone up for pre-order. They're Switch uh, voucher eligible. So you can, you can go and get Mario Party. You can get Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. You can get all the things except for the Switch Lite. It's nowhere to be found. What is wait? What is the wait? Why are I, they making us wait? I have no. I'm like I was surprised that we had to wait so long just to pre-order the games. Yeah, um, every it, those didn't. Go, usually those go up like yeah. the same day or the next day. These didn't. Yeah, yeah there was like a week, week and a half before they showed up, and the system still doesn't show up. I'm, I'm more. I'm, do they think it's gonna be? Do they think it's gonna be like hard to get? Are they expecting like traffic or something? No, nah, they saw the state of our country like, fuck this, y'all don't deserve this. <laughs> that's, well, that's facts. So you true. don't deserve nothing. <laughs> so true. Um, I did, I, I, I got vouchers. I pre-ordered Super Mario Party uh, or Mario Party Jamboree and a Donkey Kong. And then I bought, I bought Zelda separately, I bought Zelda physically. I was going to say, I should probably do vouchers because I'm definitely getting Zelda physically. Um... I'm getting Super Mario Party. I, I can probably find another game to use a voucher on. Yeah. I've never done the vouchers before. Well, it's 100 bucks, and you get two games. So you essentially yeah, get over it. $50 each. Especially since everything is $60. Everything is $60, which upset um, quite a few people about Donkey Kong, which I get. I, I, I agree with them. I do... <laughs> That game should not be sixty dollars. I think we that went too far. That was a pretty ass port for forty. I think you're right, but I also think we've gone too far with this. Like the amount of vitriol that I saw for Donkey Kong, I think is too far, especially considering that Luigi's Mansion HD is the highest selling game on the eShop right now. <laughs> That's <laughs> fine, but that game wasn't ported twice. This one has. This is the second time that it's that it's been ported over. Do you think that matters? Yeah, there are some people I don't who think that might be buying it for a third time. I don't think that matters. Well, you don't have to buy it. Like, I don't think that matters. I, I, I got, um, I got recommended a video that I watched where this person was like, "We can't keep letting them do this." And there was a really funny line that he said in his video. He goes, "Imagine, imagine if they did this with Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 games." And I, in do. my head, I was like, "They do." Where the fuck have you been for ten years? They've like, been selling us the last. <laughs> Of us red Dead Redemption time. and la noir like in metro like that's all we've been doing for eight years is remastering xbox 360 in fact they've been going games. up the last of us 2 is like Batman, 70 dollars instead yeah. of 60 and so there's there's that's my only rub i agree with you i just like i said when it was announced this is the perfect time to have like a budget title i agree with you also that said for anybody it's like this is egregious and nintendo is anti-consumer and all that it's you know it's like nintendo. Well, but look at look at the market. Look at all of the other games that are being know, ported for selling. sixty dollars. Like, it. I'm just saying, like, why are we making a mountain out of Donkey Kong? Why are we making Donkey Kong the hill to die on? Because this is I, our stand. Can I, can I yeah. say something? Can I say something? Mm -hmm. Why was Metroid Prime remastered? Which, by the way, feels like it's more than just a remaster. Yeah, that game's yeah. gorgeous. Like they've changed everything. If you look at the side by side, it does not look like a simple texture upgrade. Correct. That was forty dollars. I would mm -hmm. rather pay sixty for that kind of effort instead of forty. Whereas, like, 
this is literally just like a just higher res. Yeah, but go ahead. Dylan. I can tell you because people they, Nintendo saw what PlayStation were doing. They're like, they're just giving up the same shit for sixty dollars. We could do this, and that's it. Fuck it. Why and put in right. the effort? You're right because look- Luigi's Mansion Two is selling. Yeah, people are buying. XBS anyway. points out Mario Strikers. You can look at every Mario sports game, and Metro Prime is better than most of those. One. Metroid Prime is just an excellent video game, so like it gets yeah. that boost. I wonder how much this had to do with. Um, I wonder if they were trying to see like what would happen if we if we released a Metroid game at a budget at a budget price. Like, would that juice? That's sale? probably what it was. And we're still not getting Prime two and three. <laughs> you know, and the difference is, and I, I think the answer is an answer that Metroid fans don't want to hear. The answer is that Donkey Kong is a more popular IP than the yes, Metroid. Y'all, y'all don't Which buy is bad. And so the so the IP the brand is priced accordingly. That's that's the answer I think. Yeah. And um, it's not to say it's better or worse. It's it's really you know, kind of buy it. That's a very sad I bought it. reality. I bought it. You know, like also, I love Donkey Kong. I want to buy it. So I'm there. Also, you know, Donkey Kong appeals to a younger generation as well. Anyway, mm-hmm. like kids will buy. It. Moms yeah. going to store to see Donkey Kong. They're gonna buy that for their kids. They're looking at Metro like, oh, I don't know about that one. Yeah, I don't different. even know if they even recognize the box. You know, they probably don't even. They probably just see it. And if you think about like a a casual consumer, an, an, an adult that doesn't pay attention to video games, Metroid fades into a wall of icons that just look Correct. like video games. You yeah. know, Mario and Donkey Kong, Kirby and stuff. They stand out. They know Donkey Kong. Yeah, they probably played Donkey Kong. So there's mm-hmm. there's that part too. Like, yeah, yeah. I played this. This is. I remember the brand just has the like brand this. just has more appeal. Yeah. Sad. Um, my my only recommendation to anybody that feels that way is well, one, you don't have to buy it. That's the easiest thing. Just don't buy it if you don't care. Yeah. Um, but if you want to buy it and you're upset that sixty, get a voucher. Now it's fifty, and yeah. here you go. You've you've lowered the price. Yeah. You've done a, you've done an excellent job. That's what I did. I got Mario Party to go with it. So, or just wait I will be years playing to know price drops it. I will be playing Donkey Kong HD. Yeah, wait um, three years. People are like, you can emulate it. This is also this is the 3ds version of the game. So it has extra levels and stuff. It's not just the Wii game. Like uh, I'm not sure how many people think that. Um, so I also think it looks pretty good. Just play it so. on your 3DS. Yeah. Nah. I want to play on the Switch. Okay. Yeah, get the OLED. Okay. Um, I fixed Josh, by the way. Speaking of Donkey Kong, what? I fixed what Josh, by the way. I corrected him. By sending him the link of the Petey Pablo song, so now he knows. Oh, okay, there, good. There it is. Good, good. I'm gonna be rocking that in the car. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> Driving through Raleigh. Um, so we Donkey Kong. Yeah, so we've scanned documents from the infamous Kong court case between Universal and Nintendo in the 80s. These scanned documents have recently come um, to light, where people have discovered that Nintendo considered a bunch of names for Donkey Kong before naming him Donkey Kong. Man, we are so um, with what we got. Some of the some of my favorites from the list that were included were Bill Kong, Kong of Kong the Kong, Kong the Kong, Kong the Kong, <laughs> Giant Kong or Big Kong. Kong. Can you wait? Can you imagine if we had to be saying, "I'm so excited for the next Giant Kong game"? Giant yeah. Kong Country Returns. <laughs> Kong the Fighter, Custom Kong, Steel Kong. I have no idea. Kong Holiday. (laughs) What? I like it. And then, of course, as our namesake in this episode, Kong Dong. Yes. Legendary. (laughs) We should have named, like, you got to buy Donkey Kong now. Kong (laughs) Dong. We need we need like uh, replaceable covers. We need so, like an Etsy store to make us some Kong Dong HD covers. Yeah. <laughs> Kong Dong, I'm so excited for the next Kong Dong game. That's sixty dollars. <laughs> I'm glad that was a great picked story. up on it. That I've been changing my name all throughout yeah. this show. To I've, I've been saying it, yeah. <laughs> the, the characters. <laughs> wow, Kong Dong. I think we lucked That's... out. Even though, like Donkey Kong, like. I, I honestly Donkey Kong is not much better if you think about it. It's like why you, is it Donkey? Like it seems yeah, you, very random. I feel like it only sounds normal to us because we're so used to it, but like really it's just as random as these other ones. Yeah. I think the syllables help. Donkey. 
Yeah, having the Donkey Kong is a lot better well, than we're Bill, used to it. Bill Funky, Kong. Yeah. yeah. Funky Kong was one of the names on the list. They originally wanted to name him Funky Kong. Funky Kong. So when you Funky fast Kong forward to Tropical World. Freeze and they introduce Funky Kong, you're like, oh, that's that's kind of neat. They're still Funky using Kong this works. list. K.D. Kong Dong. <laughs> <laughs> like it uh, so yeah. yeah nintendo's naming conventions see this is how you end up with wii U's and like this makes sense yeah. yep so anyway that was a fun story I want uh, an update of the wii u names <laughs> that's mm-hmm. what i need the list of the wii wii oh that'd be great <laughs> an update on the individual that was arrested for threatening nintendo live events we talked about the story some time ago this person got arrested he was threatening this uh, all these different events, like main, I think it was Splatoon events, Nintendo Live, things like that. Uh, the person was brought in to hear his charges uh, this, this past week, and he admitted to the charges and appearance, stating that the more I lost, the more frustrated I would become, uh, presumably in Splatoon 3. Wow. This man went on to threat rage. What a freaking mood. The I was number waiting of times for that. I have yeah. gotten so pissed off losing in Splatoon 3. Yeah. Like, I, I kind of get it. I kind of get it. That's the one. This, this is the whole point I put it in here was just to get Rebecca on the record for this. It's just yeah. like, the more and more I lost, the more frustrated I can. And I he get said, look at, so this. look at this. The prosecution is, se- is seeking a one year prison sentence. Uh, he sent threats and saying, I'll make you regret making such a shitty game. <laughs> <laughs> I think That's we should it. hear about, gotta go. we should hear about I, think, I think we need to hear a little bit more because yeah, he might have a point. <laughs> Rebecca's like, hold on. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> I can't believe this. Uh, <laughs> probation. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he'll probably, you know, probably do two weeks or something like that and be on probation of an angle monitor. Um, in total, he sent in over 39 bomb threats. Yeah, okay, that's wrong, but... He was so mad <laughs> of Splatoon. <laughs> mad of Splatoon being the game that breaks you. No, I get that's it, wild. though. Just stop playing. <laughs> no, you can't. You literally can't. <laughs> yes, you can. Stop. Mm-hmm. I did. No problem. Ugh. But yeah. when you win, it feels good. It feels so good when you win. But it feels rage. awful when you lose. Seriously, rage quitting Splatoon yeah, Three. No. <laughs> Those who get it, Fortnite. get it. I love, I love. It's so targeted. I'll make you regret making <laughs> such a shitty game. <laughs> I want him to like to say that right to like Miyamoto's face. Like, <laughs> you're gonna pay for this. <laughs> I wonder what he did to his amiibo. Does he have like headless amiibo or some shit? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, mm-hmm. f this. Um, they take Splatoon extremely serious, you know, like Apparently we've so. all, we all know what it's like to enter the lobby and you just see a bunch of, you're like, oh no. <laughs> like yeah. I get so soul. mad because all the Japanese players are always on the other team. They're can't so they good. Team? They're so good. They're so good. <laughs> They're so good. It's scary. Yep. I get into them like, oh, we are fucked. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, there was a limited run games showcase. So we, we recorded the direct and then we missed the week. So this is actually somewhat old news now. Um, but there were 20 physical editions that were announced, most of them for, for Switch. Um, physical only games. I'll just read off a few here. Beyond Good and Evil 20, 20th Anniversary Edition. That's out now. Um, C Smash VRS. Let's see here. G.I. Joe Wrath of Cobra. Hitman Blood Money Reprisal. Jay and Silent Bob. The Chronic Blunt Punch. Um, get that. I, I actually that thought game. that looked pretty good. Yeah, it was like the, like a yeah. Nickelodeon sort of look to it. Uh, Lollipop Chainsaw was there. We talked about its physical edition. Um, Ninja Five O, Penny's Big Breakaway, Rain World, Rugrats, which I've played. I played the Rugrats I want to get Rugrats. Is it good? It's good. Yeah, yeah, it is good. It's I really get it so badly. The being able to. You can hop back and forth from the eight bit to the new. Yeah, for, I love that. You can do that for the visual or the music at any moment i love that yes. yeah I'm gonna get it that. is it's really nice um starship troopers dark forces remastered um so wolf assign 2 uh the new colossus is getting an actual switch physical copy you don't have to download it. like the game will be on the cartridge um bubsy the perfect collection clock tower rewind the gex trilogy Shantae, Risky's Revolution, and Tomba Special Edition uh, were the Carbon Engine ports. 
Bubsy's and then they back, also, baby. I'm sorry. I said Bubsy's back. Y'all remember I, Bubsy? I, I call my cat no, Bubsy. I don't. You don't remember Bubsy? Mm-mm. It was an Xbox mascot, wasn't it? I'm aware of it, yeah. but like I never really paid much to never played it. Yeah, well, it's not, never it wasn't like a thing. Great. It was. Yeah. It's like a 3D. Pla- it's like a platform mascot. Yeah. Game. Yeah. No, I'm aware of it. I. I a, but I just yeah. never was. I never did it or was into it. So I'm always say, amazed that like we've kind of made fun of it for 20 years, and like every so often, like it kind of comes back around. I'm just like, I, I'm always like, why? I don't. He's a kitty. Um. Double Shake was also showcased. Fear Effect is coming back. That's one that I know. Uh, the Fighting Force Collection. And then Ghost. Ghost is a... Uh, I kickstarted that game. Like, I'm one of the people... Like, that game, I I forgot that I kickstarted a game. That's how long ago. It's like, how long it's been. Wow. Like, this... The limited run, I was like, oh, yeah, I gave those people money. <laughs> That's why I stopped kickstarting video games. <laughs> but uh, apparently, I, I'm supposed to get it. So, uh, Delvin, you'll appreciate this. The guy that is making Ghost, the guy that's like okay. writing the game, he made Host oh. on the Shutter movie. That's the whole thing. It's like this FMV horror movie, the game thing. That's why we funded it. Me and Josh funded it. I think I threw that's them. Pretty I, cool. know, I think I threw them like fifty bucks. I'm sure it's going to be terrible, but yeah, you know, who I'm, cares? I'm not funny video games. So just- I loved yeah. Host so much at the time when Host released. I was like, take my money. Like I just wanted to do anything I could <laughs> to sub. Like I was like, please. Yeah. Um, speaking of Splatoon, I'm going to make you pay for making this shitty game. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Splat Fest scheduled for July 13th through the 15th, um, and the theme is: Where would you reserve a day? A palace, a theme park, or a beach? And you can hear that wonderful applause and enthusiasm <laughs> ring. I'm gonna make you pay for <laughs> I feel like I have a, a strong opinion on. This. I'm starting to agree with them now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I get it. Yeah, I get it. I'm not saying it's right, <laughs> but I understand. Right, but <laughs> <laughs> I think beach, private beach, might be nice. Yeah, that'd be my answer. I'd be, be team beach team. I mean, I'm the such only- a beach bum. Like I used to like theme parks, but I'm not really much of a roller coaster person these days. But it would be kind of nice to like go on any ride without having to wait. Yeah, but I feel like if not not that you're necessarily there by yourself, but without like other people, I feel like that would be. Well, no, you're reserving. Like so you can bring your often. friends. You can bring yeah. your yeah, I do, friends. I, I, I do that all the time. I go by myself. See, I, I'm park. just wanting to reserve a place by myself. Like the idea yeah, of like just beach. me and my wife at the beach by myself. Yeah. Ideal. Yeah, I, I, I do like that. <laughs> a palace you a governor is like during the, the worst pandemic. You here. do it all the time. Mm, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, headlines. The Pokemon Company has booted a bunch of fans from the Pokemon card art contest after several entered art that was done by AI. It was so obvious. So I scrolled through all of the uh, submit. Like the, It was like the top 300 that they narrowed it down to. And so I always like to go through and see all of the art because it's all very good. Yeah. And there were some submissions that all had like very close variations of the same name. Like it was like a couple letters different and all of the art was like the same style. And it was very obvious that it was AI because there were like things wrong with it. Like the Eevee's leg was kind of weird or something Mm. like that. Like, like I do not know how that got through, especially with a lot of names being so similar. Um, And uh, so thankfully they uh, replaced them they took those out and they replaced them with people who didn't previously make it into the top 300 instead of just eliminating them and forgetting about it like they gave other people a chance which i think was very good that they did that i just don't know how that made it past it like i don't know they probably weren't screening for it until now they were like oh yeah because my understanding was they were all submitted and taken and it wasn't until then they announced like these mm-hmm. are our can it wasn't then that somebody was like like the people like you that were looking at they're like yo this is fake yeah yeah <laughs> so they probably just weren't pre- and like it makes me question like i wonder what 
what is the future of like art contests? Like, do we have to like physically bring everybody in a room and actually make you paint on canvas or something? To... It's sad. It's sad because yeah. like yeah. there was a lot. So people were posting when the th top 300 came out. Um, people were then posting their submissions that did not make it. And so I was scrolling through all of those on Twitter too. There was like a hashtag and like there were some really, really good ones that didn't make it. And like, I don't know how you can get thousands of submissions and like narrow it down to just a couple like that's obviously a really hard task but like yeah i feel really bad for artists who who put you know so much effort into it only to not win and ai wins like that sucks yep it's sad um aspire announced that it's bringing star wars bounty hunter remastered to consoles including switch this august cool this is the is it uh boba fett, the boba fett yeah no it's a uh, Django fett Django Fett. Django and Chain Fett. Two? Yes. PlayStation 2. Could you imagine if the people started remastering 360 ports? <laughs> <laughs> I remember this game was not well received. Oh, really? No. Yeah, I, I never played it. This game came I out. never played it. But I didn't but need I to saw, Django Fett and fuck that. I saw a lot of enthusiasm when this port was announced this week. Like People were like, yes. Yeah, I don't remember people liking this game that much when it was interesting back in the day. But mm. you know, what's old is now new. And I mean, Aspire seems to be. Then, can fix you it. know, they just keep running through this. Anything but Kotor, I guess. You know, they keep running through this remaster trend where they just keep pumping out Star Wars games. But people really like it. Star Wars yeah. is popular. I, yeah, there's that Star I Wars. Um, every one of them. That Hunter game that we got on Switch from Zynga. I played that for like an hour. Is it's it pretty good? good. Yeah, it's pretty. If you're into, obviously, I am not into a game like that. But what I played was good. I was like, this is. If you're into that, if you want to like go and battle each other, and it's like, um, you know, Jack really loves the Pokemon Unite. He loves that, just like that endless, just fight each other. I can't do that. I'm like, what's the point? What are we doing? You know, just unlocking a, a new helmet. Who cares? Yeah. But if you're into that sort of thing, it's a fun game. Yeah. It's a shiny new mm -hmm. helmet, though. Uh, XPS says it, it's already on the PS4 PlayStation Classics program. Did it cost fifty dollars? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the other thing. Yeah, like they they charge uh, it's like thirty or forty dollars for Tomb Raider PS2. Yeah, who the fuck wants? And that? it literally is just the PS2 version of Tomb Raider. Wow, Tomb Raider. that's wrong. That's wrong. That actually. <laughs> yeah. That does make me like appreciate Nintendo Switch Online. Like, I it's mm -hmm. really it's only twenty dollars a year. Like, they're not selling us Ocarina of Time for the N sixty four. And they touch up the games. They have multiplayer. Yeah. They are upscaled. They're up res. Yeah. You know, they have widescreen support. Like, it's not. You know, you could do a lot more on your own if you wanted to emulate it. But it is not like it's not just the ROM. Yeah. And we've seen poor emulation. Like the I think the Wii games on Wii U sucked. They all had like this dark filter on them. You know, that's not the best way to play those games. Um, Nintendo Switch Online is very nice. It does mm -hmm. a really good job with that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Twenty dollars can't beat that price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep, yep, yep. Um, shall I? Uh, yeah. Read the questions. Way. Okay. Starting with Jamie. Do you think Zelda will pull the Master Sword in Echoes of Wisdom? No. I think she should. I agree. I don't think she will, but I hope she does, and I, I think she should. Yes. I would say yes. Master staff. Somebody's got to pull her. Like it's, somebody's got to do it. The Master Wand. Here you go. The Master Wand. <laughs> Girls can have swords, so here's your wand. I wish. <laughs> I think that the Master Sword is, you know, sacred in that world of only being pulled by the hero of time yeah the, the, the hero the hero with the, the triforce of courage i meant um i also don't see her getting any kind of sword uh fighting but i think she should i wish she would yeah it should be an option at least it was Wait like a, a story second. moment where they, they pull it together or something wait a second in the beginning of the game, when we see Link fighting, is he holding the Master Sword? Or is he holding just some other sword? I thought it was just some other sword, but to be honest with you, now that you say that, I, I don't. I didn't study the trailer that hard. I, uh, good question. 
Hyrule in chat says it's another sword. Yeah, that's what I thought. So that's interesting. Uh-huh. Yeah. See, it could be. Interesting. What if she? Uh, what if she made an echo of the sword to give to 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 Link? Ooh. Ooh. That'd be crazy. Does that count? Yeah. I think that counts. I hope she does. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Jake wants to know what size shoe do you think Waluigi wears? Twenty-two. Large. Yes. The clown shoe. Twenty-two shoes. and a half. Slim, narrow. Big. <laughs> There are several jokes I can make. I'm not going to make that. Do not make that joke. <laughs> Kyle, I'm, still, I'm still hung up. I'm still hung up on the wand thing. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Kyle the Pug wants to know which Nintendo character is more likely to believe in Joe Hendry. <laughs> <laughs> What's a That's Joe a Hendry? Question. Say his name. Oh my and God! He Rebecca. appears. Come on, Rebecca. I don't know who Joe Henry. Is. I believe in Joe Henry. Him and Taylor Swift like had a feud almost. A fun. What? Uh oh. You just struck a nerve. That story? No. Because the song like was like charting, and he almost beat Taylor Swift on the charts. Because it because it was memeable song. Never Google heard it. Of this man. Okay. He's great. He's a wrestler. Oh. Yeah, he's a wrestler. He's viral. Okay. Who went viral because of um, his song, his theme song. His song his dethroned song, like, a lot of people in, in the UK. Oh. Yes. Like his song and went almost, like to number one for a couple so weeks. So he is a real person. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. He almost dethroned Taylor Swift so at one point. Why, why is his question most likely to believe in Joe Hendry? That's a good Because that's, that's, that's how the song goes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And when you say his name, he appears. So that's which Nintendo cool. character is, is, is doing this? That's the hard one. I'm going to go um, Lucha Libre Pikachu. Pikachu Let's Libre. Go on. Let's go on. I'm Paul Lucha. Go Wario. Let's mm-hmm. go on, too. I believe in Joe Henry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Dead Man asks, my question for Shaq is, what other video game properties should be turned into a Lego game? Man, there are so many Nintendo ones that I would love to see as Lego games. A lot. We've answered this question a few times in the history of our show. I don't remember. And I don't remember the last time we did, but I think I had a really good answer. I say the same (laughs) answer every goddamn time. The one that they should have made a long time ago, Mario. They have Lego Mario. Mario. Lego Mario. What are you doing? Yeah. Lego Mario would work. Uh, Lego Zelda works. Lego Pokemon. Lego Animal Crossing. Lego Donkey Kong works. I think most of the Nintendo franchises probably yes. you can you can envision a Lego game out of it. It would be cool to see a Pokemon spinoff with Lego. Yeah, I, I agree. That's really good. Yeah, I think we I think answered this that. question on um, PSVG. I don't think I said Lego Last of Us. Wow. <laughs> because it would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. <laughs> it would be hilarious. It was <laughs> jarring to even hear. <laughs> Like the it took whole, me. I gotta set on whole, that for a minute. The wow. whole golf club scene. <laughs> just the Lego pieces. Can you imagine? You hear? You can hear the Lego bitch. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wow. Oh, they can do so much <laughs> with That's terrible. Yeah. No, uh, they don't. I have... wouldn't do Metroid, and I wouldn't do. I guess Splatoon. I don't think Lego Splatoon uh. works. No, I don't think I don't that know. I don't think Lego so. Mario works really well. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it basic. Super Meta Boy asked, the new Prince of Persia made me realize that 2D Metroidvania style games are probably what I enjoy playing the most. What are your top three favorite game genres or styles and which ones do you actively avoid or have decided you just don't? like i don't know if i have favorite game genres i really like top down action games Mm -hmm. uh but i i'm not a big fan of roguelites Mm -hmm. okay yeah my favorite genres uh survival horror um open world action games and story based adventure games probably the ones i i enjoy the least are puzzle games fuck that i won't think 
I it it really has to be like the right kind of puzzle game for me to enjoy it because I'm yeah. not always a big fan of that. I also don't like first person games because they make me motion sickness, like nauseous, dizzy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but however, I literally just it's coming in the mail today. I just bought. I heard that ginger candy ginger. If you eat that while playing first person games, like that can help with the motion sickness. So I'm gonna try oh. that. I mean that also, makes sense. Ginger. I mean, that's why people will take like ginger ale and crack or stuff when they're not feeling yeah. well. Yes. Yeah. Also, a little tip. Sometimes you have to fix the um, the motion of the rectile on the screen. I do that a lot with games. Turn the motion too blur fast. off. Turn the motion blur off. Turn the motion like the, blur off. Go in the settings. Okay. Turn the motion blur off. Just adjust the settings, and it'll 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 work better for you. So a lot of games, especially the faster games, when you move the camera, it'll blur because that's kind of like in real life. But when you're seeing it simulated for you. It it messes up your, yeah. your bearings. Turn it off. Um, mine would be open world games, probably of all kinds. I, I generally just like being dropped in a sandbox and being allowed to like find my way. Um, shooters of all kinds, first person, third person, top down. Um, platformers, I guess. I generally like most platformers. Okay. Um, I don't and like then platformers. The ones that I probably stay away from are turn-based games. I generally don't like a lot of turn-based games. Um, I think slower games, which is really, really where the turn-based thing comes from. Um, I'm trying to think of another one. I would say roguelites because I was there with you, but I've actually found a few that I really enjoy. Okay. So I, I like think it's just like a hit or miss thing. And, and I do enjoy a few puzzle games. Um, I like some RTS games. Uh, I would say, oh, like any any Souls likes. Oh, Fuck yeah. That. Those are too hard. Yeah, I'm not trying to I also trying to mess do with like that. rhythm games and yeah. racing games. Yeah. Yeah, I went to that shit as well. I'd love another Rhythm Heaven. That'd be great. Mm-hmm. Uh, gamer guy Lou says, is there a particular boss fight in a Nintendo game or non Nintendo game that you struggled with before, but have now figured out and have beaten fairly easily for me? The final boss of paper Mario, the thousand year door was this still stuck on it on GameCube, but got it on my first try on switch. Congratulations. Gamer guy Lou. That's great. Congratulations. Nice. Um, trying to think. I can't think of any because usually when I struggle with a boss fight and once I beat it, I'm like, well, fuck that. I'm not playing this game anymore. I don't well, go if I struggle too fight. hard, I just quit. So the first thing that came to me was Metro Dread. I was like, nope, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I've reached the end for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I think for, I, I don't think this counts, but like under the guise of the question accounts, when I first walked in to like the tomb to fight Ganon in Tears of the Kingdom, I got wrecked. <laughs> and then I had to come back and kick his ass, and I did, and it wasn't that hard. I just had to, I had to be, I had to prepare. Just had to prepare, yeah. prep for the fight. I wasn't ready. I wasn't sure what I was walking into. Probably stuff when I was a kid. It was too hard for me to beat on my own, and like now that I've grown up, like I can. I don't know. I was a way better gamer as a kid than I was an adult. Really, I was beating all that shit, like Ninja Gaiden. Fucking Mega Man because wow. I had all fucking day. <laughs> yeah. Shit, I was better to do. Just play this game. I just yeah. It on. Yeah, I definitely had more time to give. I had more time to get good. Yeah. Now it's like I was more open to being frustrated then, for sure. Yeah. I would play frustrating games just because. Yeah, because I hear people talk about how games are like, oh, this Mega Man's hard. I'm like, it is. I didn't realize. No, it's, yeah, it, no, it, Mega it, it probably hard. is hard. Mm -hmm. like it probably is hard. It's just that I had all day to play it and nothing else to play. So I, yeah, I never like. I didn't. It. I didn't like Mega Man then. Yeah, I I, I beat them all. I generally don't. I generally don't play video games to like aspire to get better or attain. Like I'm not. I don't have that itch. So that does nothing for me. People are like, I want to get better. I want to like. I'm like, I could care less. No, like I, I want to race cars in circles. <laughs> My whole thing is beating the game and forgetting about it. If, <clears throat> that's it. Get through the game. And when I was a kid, that's what I did. Mm -hmm. Ghosts and goblins. Oh, good. Oh gosh, I can't. I can't do that today. <laughs> um, 
Uh, I can't see wants to know question for the show earlier this year. I turned my launch model switch into an NSO retro machine and use the OLED for regular games after good seeing job. that. Yeah, that's a good idea. After seeing that high real edition switch light, I'm thinking of getting it and doing the same thing. Would you trade your OG switch for that light or wait and trade both switches for the next iteration? I can't, Neither. I can't do that. Neither. Yeah, no, I just buy the switch light. Can't be that. I'm not trading in and $199. I hundred ninety nine dollars. Yeah. I can't trade in my day one switch because I hacked it and it's now online banned. I think I'm gonna hack my No More Hero switch too. Once the new switch comes out, that's what I think I'm gonna do with my No More Hero switch. It's just buy that's it. a good idea. Yeah. Um I was even thinking of maybe the switch light would probably be a great machine to hack. Like once we're moved on to Switch Two and stuff, that'd be a great one to like hack. So you could buy the Switch Lite and just hold on to it and hack it if you want. Can you can you hack yeah. that new of a Switch yet? Not yet, but give it time. It will be yeah. eventually. Yeah, yeah. Look, give it time. I can't see. Just yep. go out here, go meet a guy in the streets, sell a little bit of them drugs, get you two hundred dollars. Wow. There you go, baby. <laughs> Delvin. Don't worry about it. The interaction, I'm not going to repeat it here, but the interaction between <laughs> me and Haley the other day, <laughs> I was howling. It's very funny. Holy crap. That was the funniest thing that, yeah. funniest chain of interactions. Yeah. Um, Chris says, are there any runs y'all are looking forward to at Summer Games Done Quick, which starts today, actually. It's starting at the end of the hour, one o'clock. Um, I was looking, I always look forward to Games Done Quick. Um, I am looking forward to a lot of the runs. I like to have it on kind of like in the background. I'll, I'll tune into some of the runs that I'm looking forward to. Today in particular, I'm not going to go into every single thing this week that I'm looking forward to, but today in particular, I am looking forward to, they're doing uh, Splatoon 3's Side Order DLC. Hmm. Um, so they're going through the whole nice. tower and with one of the pallets. Um, I'm curious to see how easy they make it look when I struggle very badly. Um, it's a really good for those of you who don't know. Uh, Summer Games Done Quick. It is a week long uh, uh, speed running marathon. It's twenty four seven for the whole week. They're raising money uh, for charity. Uh, they always raise like two or three million dollars. It is really cool to see uh, your favorite games get broken the way that these speed runners do. Yeah, check it out. Summer Games Done Quick. It's uh, Games Done Quick on Twitch. Either of you guys into that? Absolutely not. Not okay. really. That's okay. Not even Every now and again, like I usually like when something becomes notable and like makes its way. Like I don't watch the streams, but like sometimes it makes its way into the news. Yeah. You know, I saw like somebody beat like Doom Eternal in like thirty minutes, which is like fucking insane. It's That's really cool. cool. Can't beat like the first level in thirty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And sometimes so. they do like glitches. Sometimes they don't. Like they're all they're all different. Yeah. It's yeah. Very cool. Um, the game's not my thing. Yeah, that's okay. Same. Yeah. Not, yeah, I get it. I generally don't. I like. I think it's a a difference thing that I find for me and like a majority of our community. I think Dev and I are very much this way. I think we're the only people that like we watch YouTube. Like I don't watch Twitch. Like really ever. I like I have to like go log into it. <laughs> like, like oh yeah, this thing over here. And I, I almost always hate it. Like get into it and like see an ad, and I'm like oh my god, I can't stand this thing. Yeah. But we'll be watching like PSXP or something. It's just me and Dev. We're just on YouTube, just hanging out. And I see the icons next, to all the names, right? Everybody, like our whole community is on Twitch. I've, I've just yeah. I've tried and just never. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. I don't like Generational that. thing. I could never. I think it's I'm just too ingrained into YouTube. Right, like I, I have the YouTube Premium because I get the music, so I'm used to having no ads and everything. Like that's just how I, have done this for so long that like trying to switch as anything else, I'm like, oh, this is awful. That's that's me. I'm the opposite because I have Twitch Turbo, so I don't see any it ads is. on Twitch. Ooh. But then then I'll turn on uh, YouTube and I'll get like a ton of ads. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was watching Sean because they they only stream on Twitch. I was watching Sean. I wanted to, I, we were editing, I was editing the podcast. I'm like, I'll go listen to Sean while I do it. And I swear to you, it was like, Sean was like, we're doing our countdown and number one. And it was an ad. I was like, mother. F <laughs> <laughs> I hate this place. <laughs> yeah. 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 <sighs> Farley asks, are we going to get an Arctic expansion for blue ocean? 
I think he means ocean. endless, endless ocean. ocean. Endless ocean. Yeah, I think Arctic. He means endless Ooh, ocean. that would be cool. I don't play that game, but I like Arctic. Yeah, type same. Type I forgot that game. Sure. Happened. I think, uh, yeah. I don't want to say anything yeah. else. I don't want to ruin. Like, like do they do they the do expansions for that game? I don't. I don't that know. Game came out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, Farley. We're not. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. You didn't even say the name right. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't like. I don't want it to. Like, if I'm being honest with you, like, I don't want anybody making any more endless ocean ever. Like, I don't want content. I don't want extra things. But like, I would love to know like how the game is selling. Watch it like outsell Metroid or some shit. Oh my god! Don't even Watch say it. that. Don't even say that. I'm just saying. Sorry, Farley. Game is terrible. No, don't, don't <laughs> rain on his parade. I hope parade. that there will be an Arctic expansion, Farley. I hope there yeah. will be because I like penguins and polar bears and stuff. I said what I said. Seals. <laughs> uh, Luigi himself wants to know: Do you think the next Nintendo system will have a more novelty-like menu like the other systems? I think that's one of the most requested features to come back regarding Switch and its software. Also, what's a menu slash system feature you'd want back, like Street Pass or something? Yes, Street Pass. Street Pass would be great. Obviously, yeah, that'd be cool. I don't think anybody would ever. You know, I would never not use want it. that. I yeah. love custom menus and like novelty stuff like that, but I don't want it to be at the expense of it taking 20 years for it to load up. Sure. My UI is, I think UI is very important. I have so many like more basic requests with Switch UI than themes or street path. <laughs> like I'm on such a lower level. Um, I would like to be able to like search for a game. <laughs> you know, I'd like to be able to just like yeah. type in a way and it like pop up. Um, That'd I would like cool. to be, I would like to be able to like go into my library of games and like be able to filter and search for those. I like to have actual, actual filters or actual groups, you know, like just more basic functionality would be most welcomed. Cause like you can group things on switch now, but you can't see them on your screen. You have to go to the library screen to see them, which kind of defeats the purpose to, you know, from the get go and just things like that. I would like gifting on the eShop for That'd me to great. gift a game to somebody on my friends yes. list. Maybe be able to view their wish list and gift them a game. Mm -hmm. Because you know how many yeah, times it's been somebody's birthday and I want to gift them a specific game that doesn't have a game key that I can buy for them. And then I have to be like, here's a $20 gift card. You please buy, you know, this game with it. And like, you have to cover the tax. Sorry. Like, yeah. I think oh, they don't no, want people selling codes of their games. I think that's why they don't do that. Probably. I wonder if they could. But put can't like I? Can't I get like I still want to be able to gift it directly to them? I don't need a key to do yeah, that. In the shop. In the shop. Yeah. Shop, yeah. Like that. to your friends list. Like yeah. Directly. Yeah. Well, hey, yeah. Really. We can do that on Steam. Yeah. yeah. I want that so I badly. Like that on Steam. Helps yeah. a lot. Yeah. And Steam tells you like, hey, this person doesn't have this game. And they it makes it very list. easy birthday gifts. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. yeah. It does. And they yeah. would sell more games that way. Yeah, I just, I just, part of me, it's like I don't, I don't expect Nintendo to figure that out. <laughs> we don't have voice chat. Yeah, that is. And start a sending basic feature Johnny like some hentai golf game or some shit. Oh my god! <laughs> like they, you know, like Great. you know, like there's trolls and you like. I'm always in my mind. I'm like, all right, we want this thing. How will the worst of the internet use this against us? Like that's that's <laughs> for anybody that works in IT, you just you almost stay there all the time. Like, how will this be used against them? There's a reason they don't have it, I'm sure. Uh, and I guarantee you that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Please. They don't want you sending 12 year old John some shit he shouldn't be getting. And some stuff probably shouldn't be on the eShop anyway. <laughs> you like that, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's another not problem. My fault. That's another problem to uh. fix. Uh but yeah. Like some basic, some basic databasing searching would be great. I can, I can see them being in Congress now. Somebody keeps sending my ten-year-old pin I gave from the Switch. Did you send? Did you send this little this this second grader a copy of Senran Kagura? <laughs> <laughs> I believe the vet. <laughs> my, my second grader now has arthritis in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, but Street Pass would be cool. 
not just yeah. the street pass like obviously like we're carrying our switches and you get to meet people and friends but like the little games that they had there were such like little mindless fun games mm -hmm. those would be cool yeah. i would like to see those come back yeah that would mm -hmm. be cool anything delvin you would like to see no paid Nothing. themes yeah, I, I like custom themes. Yeah, I like themes. I would buy themes like I did on 3ds. Bring them back. I would buy. A lot I of have themes. so many custom hacked ones on my 3ds. They're so good, yep. and on my Steam Deck, like it's like so good. Um, Jepson wants to know what objects Ooh. or creatures do you hope? Oh, Josh, the guy's Ooh. name there. <laughs> Uh, what objects or creatures do you hope you can echo in the Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom for the Nintendo Switch family of systems? Ganon. All of them. All of them. That's just how I was thinking. All of them. Yeah. Every last one of them. <laughs> just everything. Oh, Ganon and, um, would, be, would be pretty funny. Yeah. That's Getting the that first thing boss fight with Ganon. Just hot. Here you go, Ganon. You're going to fight Ganon. I just want to be in a boss fight with Ganon. I want to conjure Phantom Ganon. Be yeah. like, get some. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun Can we it. make an echo of ourselves? That would be cool. Good question. Like to be able to like press on two switches at once or something. Sure, I'm, I'm I'm expecting some stuff like that for sure. Something like that. Maybe not an echo of yourself, but that's exactly where my head went when I first saw it. I was like, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of puzzling type elements yeah. with this game. Yeah, you're gonna conjure pots and stuff to sit on the switch and open the door and things like that. I would like to echo. Um, a chicken and then like spawn like like 10 of them and beat ganon with a bunch of chickens yeah you just put it in front of him and he hits it and then all the yeah. I like it. that'd, that'd be, be great that'll teach ganon to listen mm -hmm. remember that um that short that I, I i retweeted like he's like i'm gonna i'm gonna stab you and then she makes like the empire state building he's like is that the empire she's like yeah <laughs> just like smash his left head i love the energy that uh, that people ran with with this Echoes game. It's it's great. It's so mm -hmm. like fun it. to watch. It's very good. Finally, Tony asked the most important question of all. Tony Hawk? Tony Hawk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tony Hawk. Most important question of the day. Of the show. Where's Silk Song? Please tell me. I hope they put up like one of those like yellow like studio banners. No. It's like we apologize. No. <laughs> That is the worst thing that you could see. Oh. Oh. They just like we realize in playing this game and testing that the world isn't ready for how great this game is. Yes. So we're putting it on hold for a while. Yes, I agree. Do you remember like two years ago when uh, somebody at Microsoft tweeted like all of these games in the yeah. showcase will be? It's not tweeted. They said it. Yeah, they yeah. said it. They, they, said, they said it on stage. Within one year of now, they will all be playable on your Xbox. And like mm -hmm. somebody was like, yeah, even lied. Silk Song, and they're like, yep. especially Silk Song. Yep. And that was two years ago. And the funny thing is, like only one of the games that were shown that day actually yes. showed up. That's like crazy. all of them missed that window. <laughs> it wasn't just Silk Song. It's like the whole damn showcase. Yeah. <laughs> but I remember they even doubled down on Silk Song. They did. Yeah. yeah. I can't Not be good. Us. You know, Xbox probably went back to Team Jerry. Like, we need our money back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tony, I don't know. But start putting up your missing posters on each yeah, Tony block. Hall. Yeah. Does it drop before the Switch 2 comes out? I think it drops with the Switch 2. Yeah, I mean, that'd be, that'd be great. Now here's Silk Song. That's one way to really push your game, you know? Yeah. Are people oh, buying consoles for Silk Song? No, but people that are buying consoles will probably also buy Silk Song if it's one of oh, the right. handful of new games that's there, like that yeah. day. I'm very interested to see like a Nintendo's... snipper type of thing. Yeah, exactly. Yes. I'm very interested to see like so we expect we all expect the Switch 2 to be back in May, right? Yes. Yeah. So like do they use the same store that they have? Or is there like a new store? I hope it's a new store. Uh, so do I, but like, can you see a uh, place in time where you just get your Switch? You it's the same store. Yes, it's gonna be the same store. <laughs> That's so underwhelming and sad. Maybe, Maybe like a slightly different store. layout, but like still yeah, just a bad. Little bit. Well, yeah, yeah. Here you go. 
it's it's because I mean essentially, thing. essentially their store is like CSS laid on top of the website. I think the functionality and everything is like similarly. So I guess they could just like design a new look. Yeah, and just I think that's point those be. servers that way. That yep. makes sense. Yeah. All right, boy. I hope they find a way to make it run faster. Because their store is brutal. Yes, too much. Now. I don't even use it. I yeah, I don't. I don't either. But every now and again, when you do, it's like it's not so much that I use a store. It's sometimes I have to go in there to download something that I already have bought. Yeah. Like I want to re-download something, True. and you just wait for those damn tiles, and you're like, oh, this is the worst. Oh, so. another. I hope that you can purchase more than one thing at a time. Like sometimes you want to mm-hmm. buy more than one thing, and you can't. Yeah, build a cart. Or like if you buy something that's on your wish list, it stays on your wish list. Yeah. It doesn't get removed. Like simple things like that is so. Yeah. Annoying. It's yeah. like an extra step. Mm-hmm. They're not. They're not really great at this. That's not their forte. No. Not even a little bit. So those are all the things that I'm thinking about way before I think about themes and buttons and folder. Like I'm like I just. I'd love to be able to re-download a game without opening the store. That'd be great. What if I could just go into my account and there's the tile of the game you bought, re-download it. Like on PlayStation, you just go to your library. On Xbox, you go to the library. Well, I think on Nintendo, you gotta like kick off the shop. I think you can do that. You just need to archive your game so it gets rid of it, it on your say like it gets rid of it on your SD sure. card. Yeah. Yeah. If you leave it, you can leave the tile there if you've already downloaded it. But yeah. you know, like when you have something for eight years. Yeah. You're and you're limited on page. storage, you're downloading and deleting things. Yeah. You know. I get it. That is the last question. Anything else that we want to say? Bagels? I also wish I could kick off re-downloads from the website. I don't think you can do that either. Right? Yeah, that's interesting because you can buy and download and a game and then by the time you get home, it's on your Switch. But you're right. Like I should be able to go on their website and see a list of the games I've bought. Yeah, but when you do that, it says already already downloaded. Yeah. Even if it's not downloaded, Even it just says not. already downloaded. Yeah, yeah you, so bought, you, you bought it. Off. You did it. Yeah. Um, no, I don't have anything else. Happy happy well, Sunday, everybody. You should enjoy. be able to do it from the Switch app. That, that would be cool. ideal. That would be yeah, very that would be cool. All right. If there's nothing else, then that will do it for this week. Uh, tune into Games Done Quick, like uh, we were talking about earlier. And any is there? There's Happy Fourth. Nothing coming out. Happy soon. Fourth, yeah. Anything coming out in the beginning of July? Fuck yeah, yeah. No, go no, celebrate not, the independence. We're not, we're not celebrating this year, guys. Pack it up. No. Yeah, <laughs> it's not happening. Point. Canceled. You already had. It. I gotta work, so I, well, I, I like, like always. We can y'all can I gotta, Juneteenth pass. Juneteenth, know? yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. That was great. You know, barbecue, fried yeah. chicken, all What's the other good? stuff we had on Juneteenth. That's better. A better holiday. Yeah. All right, Koopalings, we will see you next week. Whenever you're ready. All right. Peace. This is Frederick from Fire Emblem Awakening. And I forgot the line already. What?